I posted this video a few days ago, this is my greatest queen sacrifice, but in this position, there's a really interesting line I really want to show you guys. So after rook e7, the best move here is just queen c8, threatening checkmate because the background has no defender. But in this position, I don't actually have to do anything to my back rank. The best move here, you can really think of this, is rook takes h7. This is a brilliant move. Why? Because after king takes, there's a queen check, another great move. And the only move for a king is g8. And now I can move my knight to e7. This is a beautiful fork. So after king anywhere, I can just take the queen. And after rook takes, I go like g3, something like that. This is just two rooks versus a queen, and I'm slightly better.